colonoscopic ultrasound guided finding needle aspiration using the curvilinear area transducer, a single center retrospective cohort study, main author Dr. Spencer Chang. Endoscopic ultrasound, also known as endosonography, is the use of ultrasound technology inside the human body. There are two types of transducers, radial aerial, where the scanning area is a circle around the tip of the scope. However, biopsy devices shown as the blue arrow cannot be seen by the ultrasound, and the curvilinear area transducer is where the scanning area is a sector at the tip of the probe where ecogenic devices can be seen sonographically, such as biopsy needles. Notice that endoscopic aerial transducers are very similar to the standard colonoscope. They both have forward endoscopic view. Differently on the curvilinear area transducer, this view is oblique and therefore most colonoscopic ultrasound procedures are performed by radial area transducers. Using curvilinear aerial transducers in the colon and the sonography will cause great impact because it will allow to obtain tissue samples and unlock ultrasound guided procedures in the colon. However, because of the oblique view of the scope, dip insertion be beyond the rectus sigmoid area is difficult and dangerous. Therefore, there are only few studies published using this kind of probes in the colon. The insertion technique had to be standardized. First, we perform a colonoscopic exam to straighten the sigmoid colon and leave a guide wire in the cecum. The colonoscope was removed, leaving an overtube in the left colon. The curvilinear error probe was inserted through the rectus sigmoid using the overtube, and from that point, using the guide wire to direct the tip of the scope to the cecum. On the video that we show, you can see a subepithelial lesion at the cecum being scanned by the ultrasound and elastography being performed. Tissue sample was obtained using EOS guided fine needle aspiration. In our study, we present a retrospective cohort study of colonoscopic ultrasound with a curvilinear area transducer in 13 patients where we evaluated the success rate of the procedure, technical success of EOS guided FNA and the impact of tissue samples on the diagnosis of these patients.